Well, good afternoon, church family and friends, loved ones, visitors, everyone who's watching. This is our 4 o'clock Facebook Live devotional for Wednesday afternoon. My name is Trey Poole. I'm the minister of the gospel here at the Op Church of Christ. And you have uh, tuned in on accident or on purpose uh, to uh, share a few moments with us in the Word of God. And our thought today is going to focus on the totality of being a Christian the totality, the sum total, if you will, of being a Christian. Hope and pray that your day has been blessed. Uh, very warm and humid outside. Maybe some rain coming our way, but uh, uh, nonetheless, another day uh, that God has given us to uh, uh, serve and to love our fellow man. The sum total, the totality of being a Christian. In Matthew chapter 23, beginning in verse 1, uh, Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, and this is what he said. He said, The scribes and the Pharisees have seated themselves in the chair of Moses. Therefore, all that they tell you, do and observe. But do not do according to their deeds, for they say things and do not do them. You see, the Pharisees, they, they, were, they were very strong advocates of orthodoxy in uh, religious observances. I mean, very uh, strict on rule-keeping, sticklers, if you will, for the law. But such strictness was, it was really only a cloak uh, that was worn to appear godly to other people. They wanted other people to look at them and think that they were godly just to based on their outward appearance. It was all for show. Well, in this very same chapter, Matthew chapter 23, verse number 23, Jesus goes on and gives us the, those seven woes. He says in verse 23 to those uh, uh, scribes and Pharisees, he said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. That's what he called them, hypocrites. For you tithe mint and dill, and cumin, and have, he said, neglected the weightier matters of the law, which are justice and mercy and faithfulness. He said, but these are the things you should have done without neglecting the others. You see, they neglected to live as they should while telling others to do so. So they were telling people what they ought to be doing, but they themselves weren't doing it. They were talking the talk, but they weren't walking the walk. And so the lesson for us today as we think about uh, the totality of being a Christian, the sum total of being a Christian. You see, religious observances are to be performed, uh, but they are not the totality of being a Christian. Church going, uh, singing hymns and praying, communion, uh, all of those are important. But they must be accompanied by a lifestyle that is worthy of our high calling in Christ Jesus. You see, bottom line really is Christianity is a way of life. It is a lifestyle. It's a, a daily walk and a daily living uh, as Jesus Christ directs us. The attitude many times is uh, being there every time the church doors are open. Well, that's good. But it's certainly not enough. And holding others to a strict observance of worship uh, does not equate to personal faithfulness. Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 that we are to walk or live in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called. And so to borrow a saying, we must walk the talk. Did you catch that? We must walk the talk. Jesus said it like this in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. He said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Paul, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, he wrote the same thoughts when he wrote, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So, not only should we talk the talk, but we must walk the walk. Our talk and our walk must match. Well, hope and pray that you have a great afternoon. Don't forget, Lord willing, in just a, a matter of a few minutes, 
Uh, at 6 o'clock, we'll have our Wednesday night Bible study tonight. We're going to focus on uh, something that's very practical, especially right now, here and now, uh, at the Op Church of Christ. And perhaps you out there watching as well, maybe you're dealing with this very same thing. Tonight, we're going to talk about grief. Grief recovery, Re recovering and going through the bereavement process. We're going to consider a few things that I hope and pray are practical, will be helpful uh, as we dig into the Word of God. But that will happen at 6 o'clock tonight. So I hope you'll join us. Make your plans to be with us. Uh, but church family, uh, if you need me, you can call me, send me a message. Uh, let me know what's going on, how I can help you, how I can serve you. Our elders, they too are available, so uh, reach out to them. Uh, great men, uh, great hearts of, of uh, Christ to serve, and uh, they would love the opportunity as well to help you. So we'll see you in just a little while at 6 o'clock for our Wednesday night Bible study. Uh, invite someone. Let them know to tune in uh, to our Facebook page at the right time and study the Word of God with us. But stay safe, stay connected, stay grounded in God's Word, and we'll be back with you soon. See you all later.